First of all, big honor this morning. Yes, sir. It uh, was a blessing. First time something like that has ever happened at this university. So I'm just honored and blessed to uh, that, that the coaching staff and the people that had a part in, in, in this selection process picked me to uh, represent Chuck and Mullins in, in that honor. Because there hadn't been a two-time winner, did you think it was a possibility at all? I did. I did. not My junior year, I didn't think I had a possibility of winning either. So I guess both both of them caught me off guard. Um, but um, I don't know. It's just I don't know. I'm kind of like overwhelmed, man. I never imagined myself going to a university and having this much of an impact, and especially having as much of an impact as I've as I've had not being on the field. So I mean, growing up, you always think your biggest impact is gonna be making sacks and touchdowns, and but to see that in a, in, a, in a different in a different view. Um, I'm certainly been blessed to be in that situation. What about, what about to get another season to play as well? Oh, it's awesome. I feel like um, I hit I hit my stride. I feel like the end of last year, I feel like I felt great. And um, I, with the help of the, the um, strength staff and uh, just extra work and just keep, keep working, keep working, I feel like I, I've got to a great spot, but I don't want to stop there. I want to keep going and keep getting better and keep getting better. And with the help of my teammates and – all us working together, we can come together and, and make and have a, a big season this year. How comfortable do you feel at middle linebacker right now? Come in. Talk about your spring training and from your view, how you felt like you did. I mean, I felt great. Um, I t- had to take on the role of playing middle linebacker, uh, which I didn't mind. Um, I feel like we needed an experienced guy to kind of call the defense. With we really don't have no season guys, and I've been in the system. And although I played in, I still had a. a I, I'm still comfortable with what I'm doing. So um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't mind wherever I play it. I mean, I played a little in today. I told Coach he had to, he got to let me in there a little bit. So uh, I played a little in. I felt good, too. But, um, but yeah, playing middle, man, it's, it's really it's fun, and um, I look forward to doing it. What have you thought, you know, as, as obviously the oldest guy on this team mm-hmm. now, you know, you, you saw that freshman class come in last year with all the hype and everything mm-hmm. like that. Now they've got a year under the belt, the guys like Tony Connor, Robert. Mm-hmm. You know, what, what have you just thought of their development and what they're going to bring next year? Humbleness. I think all of – I hadn't seen one of those freshmen not accept coaching or not accept, you know, go to class or not not ex- being acceptable to the, to the people that's above them and saying, you know, they've been there, done that, and being able to take that coaching or, or off the field coaching. So – I've really, I've really enjoyed it. I mean, usually when you get classes like that, you have a lot of them that get the big head, and you have a lot. Of, I mean, we had a lot of, got a lot of great players from that class, but all of them are humble, and all of them. I mean, I, I got the utmost respect for Laquan and Robert and uh, uh, Tony, and uh, all. I mean, all of them at La, uh, Laramie, and I mean, the list goes on and on. But the amount of guys that are so humble to the point to where. It didn't matter where they came out in high school. They humble enough to accept coaching and accept the advice that older people have. And so I have the utmost respect for those guys. How quickly have some of the early enrollees on defense been able to really grasp the system and you know, jump right in? I think CJ is doing a great job. Um, I think uh, uh, 27, I think he's doing a great job. I think, um, I mean, all of them, but getting, getting this spring under their belt is certainly going to help when they get into the summertime. How do you think guys reacted to Coach Freeze and the assistants raising the expectation level day to day this spring? I, I don't. I don't feel like it was an unrealistic expectation. So I think it was good. I mean, uh, it's all realistic. I mean, the things that we can do this year is, is no dream. There's no maybe we can do it. Maybe we can't. I feel like we know we got the pieces to the puzzle and that we can do it. I mean, the time is now. I mean, we feel a sense of urgency. It's no more. You know, well, we got to get this and we got to get that. I feel like the time is now. And I feel like we put in a great position. I feel like we got a lot of veterans coming back. Um, I feel like we can do a lot of big things, but we have to stay humble and we have to keep working. In spite of all the, you know, the hype and all of that stuff, we have to stay humble and, and continue to work. And I think we can, we can go far. I mean, time is now is maybe win the SEC West. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Yes, sir.